Hola clase. So um, I haven't been feeling well, so I'm staying home. I'm gonna get tested this morning since grandma's coming to town, but I wanna talk to you about your projects and I want to give you some time today and tomorrow to um, decide on your partner or you may work by yourself and get started on your project. So this PowerPoint is a, um, a sample and it's a guide to get you uh, through the PowerPoint, kind of giving you an idea of what each slide should contain and um, how it's gonna go. So my destination is Cuba um, because the book we're gonna be reading is about Cuba. So uh, I will be showing you and we'll be talking about some things about Cuba. So your first slide is just mi viaje a Cuba and or nuestro viaje if you're working with a partner um basically just an intro slide you're acting though um you're putting your presentation in the past tense okay so you've already done this trip and you're taking us through the whole process of planning it um packing for it going to the airport arriving your the whole thing so planear empacar ir al aeropuerto, llegar en el país, um, <clears throat> encontrar el alojamiento y claro que vas a contarnos sobre los lugares uh, a donde viajaste y visitaste. So, al empezar yo fui sola de vacaciones en Cuba el verano pasado. So, para, para planear mi viaje yo tuve que Bla, 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 right, etc. Um, se prohíbe viajar a Cuba de los Estados Unidos, así que un agente de viajes me ayudó a planear mi viaje primero a México y desde México a Cuba. No tuve que recibir vacunaciones. Necesitaba mi pasaporte desde México o una visa desde los Estados Unidos. So, planning it, documentation necessary. This is basically your first slide. Every slide must have a picture, preferably, preferably of you two, and I'll show you how to do it coming up. Lo que empaque. So, yo fui en el verano, así que hacía muy buen tiempo, hacía mucho calor, hacía sol. Yo quería pasar tiempo en la playa y uh, hacer las um, excursiones de la playa, etc. So, I would talk more and share more about that. En el aeropuerto. So, salí de Jack's y llegué a mi parada, which is my stop, en la Ciudad de México. Entonces, tuve que cambiar aviones para Cuba. So, you, um, American citizens are not allowed to, well, we can't fly to Cuba from the United States. So, we either have to get a visa or bypass it and enter from another country. So, that's what I did. During the flight, I'll tell a little bit about that. Cuando llegué en Cuba, hacía muy buen tiempo y yo estaba muy emocionada de mi aventura. And there should be a picture of you and your destination in every slide. So here's an example of that. So transporte público. So I would say something like, cuando llegué en Cuba o en La Habana, tuve que coger un taxi. So here's me flagging down a taxi. And I'm gonna show you how I took a picture of myself, removed the background and added it to this picture. It'll be super fun in your PowerPoint. And you should, you can take various pictures of each other and yourselves and together and put them in just about. Um, alojamiento, me quedé en Via Gaviota, Cayo Coco, and I would give some detail about that. So each slide, and again, this is just kind of a template. So this slide, whatever number it is, seven or whatever it is, should be about your lodging. It's all in the past tense. Tell us where you stayed, describe it to us. I would say, había una piscina, estaba uh, un cinco, unos cinco minutos de caminar a la playa. Um, me, mi habitación era pequeña, con una cama in el primer piso, etc. Okay, you wanna use as much of the vocabulary, um, focus on preterite and imperfect. Um, the next one is about typical food, a picture of you guys at a restaurant or whatever it might be. We wanna know about the comida típica for Cuba is my destino, but 
wherever it is that your destination is, the typical food there, an authentic restaurant should be actual real restaurant that you might visit there. Everything has to be researched and um, you'll visit, so a tur touristy or historical place where you visited and a picture of you guys in there with a description of what it was like and what you uh, también visité and then um, more of a natural place like la playa o las montañas o las cuervas. There's some caves and some cool places or cascadas like um, waterfalls. And then the last slide is uh, compré algunos recuerdos. So some souvenirs that you may have bought. Okay, so this PowerPoint takes you through the basic template of completing your own PowerPoint. Each um, template or each slide should have kind of the theme of what I spoke about, should have pictures, authentic pictures with you guys in it. Um, I'll talk about how to do that in class next week. And, um, and then a description, as much, um, you know, vocabulary, preterite imperfect, a good description on um, what that was all about for that particular context, for that particular slide. So in class today, I want you guys to think about your destino and your grupo, okay? So who are you gonna work with, one other person or by yourself, and your destino. So um, I want you to send me an email in, um, in Canvas, and I want you to tell me your destination. It must be a Spanish-speaking country and it must be different from everyone else in the class. So you'll have to talk amongst yourselves um, and maybe I'll make a discussion actually so you guys can claim the country that you want first. Okay, so there'll be a discussion about that so that my kids at home, my Zoomers can hear it as well, okay? So you get to start working on this. If you have questions, uh, email them to me. Good luck and have fun. Adios.